when they are in place, when are they going to be in place? They're going to be in place the day three things are achieved. Number one, we have a purpose. Why I say a purpose? You, there is something which should bring a community of volunteers together, something that should motivate them, something that concerns them, for which they wish to contribute their time and efforts, right? So that's the primary thing we are trying to do right now. Before even you make an application to ISOC Global for recognition, uh, you have to have a purpose in place, number one thing. Number two thing, the challenge is to sustain not only the chapter, but the membership in the chapter. Because mm -hmm. if you have this founding, uh, founding group of members and you're not able to sustain them over time, that's a failure of the chapter. Mm -hmm. The chapter can really fizzle out. So sort of you have to do these certain activities where you can get people together, they can engage on common issues, and they can somehow sustain that dialogue. Or maybe in, as new issues come, they can engage with ISOC because it's, it's about local and global activity together because you have ISO Global, you have the local chapters, there's a level of support activity between both at the global and the local level and then there's there's many things like capacity building is an ongoing idea, reaching out on technical issues like IPv6, open standards, DNSSEC and right. so forth. So it's actually about balancing what our, in particular our chapter is interested about and what Islamabad is interested about. There was a very interesting question earlier. If you have multi-city chapters in your country, how do, how do you convince policymakers, right? How do you get reach out to the policymakers? So this is, the answer to this for Pakistan was, the ISAF chapter in Islamabad is very active. And that is much more closer to the policymakers. Interestingly, mm -hmm. the people organizing the chapter are actually part of the policymaking process of Pakistan. So that's, mm -hmm. that's like sort of an innovative approach to mm -hmm. creating ISAF chapters in the country.